Here we go. This is Willie Griswold from the Bob and Tom Show, live from Radio Row. I am joined by Kostaki Economopoulos and our new friend, Rondé Barber. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm great. How are you guys doing? We're great. We're, we're happy to see you, man. We're fans. I am happy to see you guys. I am also a fan of Westwood One. So <laughs> nice. I mean, it's not every day that you get to get up on a big stage on Radio Row looking out over the horizon of every, all the peons oh, yeah, down there. That's right. Y'all have welcome, a great setup over here. Welcome to the big chair. <laughs> All right, we've been asking folks this. We'd love to get your answer on it. Right. Uh, you're king for a day. You get to change one NFL rule. Ooh, one NFL what rule. Do you, what do you hate the most? What do you want to fix? Oh, man. Uh, spot foul, pass interference. Yep. Oh. Hate it. It is. It's, it prefer, is absolutely ridiculous. For a college 15 yards? I would yards? take 15 yards all day long. But will there be professional fouls under that situation? Why That's is there? The, well, college football is now professional football. So why should there be why should there be a difference? You know when it changed when they moved the goalpost into the same as the NFL, they should have just changed all the other rules at the same mm, time. Okay. I don't actually don't know when that happened. I'm just <laughs> I'm just kind of talking off the cuff. Well, the here. NFL. I mean, for my taste, I love the NFL. They fought and fought and fought, and then they finally caved and accepted the two point conversion. Right. They should do the same thing with college football overtime. Do I you agree. agree with that? I do agree with that. Hey. I, I, I'm 100 percent on board with, with that. That is change. the best overtime answer. Yeah. It's so fun. Oh, it's, it's it, it, it it makes it like. College football is weird, obviously, but uh, in that regard. But uh, the two-point play uh, is so underutilized until now that I think we realize that we've been missing out on some of the best parts of football by having to kick extra points all, all the time. Yeah, I agree. So. All right, here's another silly question. People are a little upset that the Pro Bowl isn't as tough as it used to be, <laughs> seven on seven flag yeah. football. What would you rather have them doing? Something silly, maybe an egg race, karaoke night, just have the Manning Brothers fist fight on live TV? The, the Manning Brothers fist fight would be pretty <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah. Because I, 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 they act like they love each other. I know for a fact they have to have some sort of sibling ri rivalry there. Of course. Uh, I've, I've thought about this a lot. Because actually when I played in Pro Bowls, they were – glorified flag football but they were you know easy tackling unless you were playing like with or against brian dawkins who was trying to kill you no matter what <laughs> um to be honest with you the flag football was somewhat entertainment ain't entertained but it, was, it still wasn't good sure. what what that what i think they need to do because nobody wants to play in a game anyways yeah make all the pro bowlers go to the senior bowl or one of these other bowl games and coach up those players and let that be the, be the game. Oh. So it's it's not it, it, most of these guys cuz they're not they're opting they're not having the option to opt out cuz they're not playing the Super Bowl, they're not playing late into the in the play, into the playoffs. They've been done for a month yeah, for three right. three or four weeks and you're going out there and asking them to play back when it was a game. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and then that, the so the product obviously obviously died died down because of that. But the reality is I don't think they even need to play the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like your idea. A friend of mine pitched, you know, having the college players play in the about to be pro bowl, which there I thought was a cool idea. That's a great idea. Right? That's kind of that's kind of along the same lines it's what Christmas I'm talking future, about. Cuz it's the guys you're excited right. about. Right. right. Exactly right. And it gets those young guys an opportunity to see the greats of yeah. the sport they're about to join. What a gift. Right. right? It's, it's a absolutely a gift. Yeah. Another very stupid question. Uh, obviously, you're a very fit person. You had yeah. to be in the league, and now you still manage to be fit. If you, it's a Victory Monday, day after retirement, if you don't have to be fit, what is your go-to fat guy meal? Go-to fat guy meal. Oh, man. That's, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, church's chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I was pumping them earlier, so yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. No, you know what? Pizza. I'm a I'm a idiot with you know ordered pizza and the pasta that comes along with it and you know a lot of you get a, pizza a and pasta. What are you, Jim Gaffigan? Yes, yes. You don't, you don't. You eat a piece of pizza. You go into the pasta dish. You know that comes with you know Pizza Hut, whatever, whoever does it. You eat the pasta and then you you give yourself a dessert of another piece of pizza. Yeah. Okay, all right. And then you have about. 25 adult beverages with them. Okay, all right. <laughs> so like, what if the rubble is just a drinking contest? Yes. Oh, they well, can do a hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. you, if you want some insider information, uh -huh. there was an unwritten Pro Bowl Mai Tai record. It was 17 Mai Tais by John Lynch. What? And John Lynch? And one and year. he's not even one of the big guys. Can I note, that is the least <laughs> tough guy drink right. to be drinking. And one year I tried to top it. And uh -huh. it, got, it got to about 13 and about 
killed myself. Oh, well, thank goodness. you so much, Mr. Barber. Could you do a favor? Just read us one joke, the third joke on one, that sheet. One joke? Could you use this microphone? Would this, you mind? This, this, this microphone right here. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, I just found this out. The Lions have a losing record on Thanksgiving. Who knew that? That sentence is probably also true if you leave off the words on Thanksgiving. That's there it is. right. <laughs> Rondé Barber, this is Willie Griswold and Kostaki Economopoulos on Radio Row here in Phoenix, Arizona. Thank you. Cheers, Dude, guys. Thank you so awesome. much. Yeah, man.